when I played this game, I was on a huge lose streak with very, very unlucky games. I mean, you know these periods, you know, where nothing works and you get into a game and you it's almost like you know that it's going to go wrong. But I was believing, I was trusting that I could break the curse without even going to sleep. And I was not brute forcing, I just felt like I could play and I played and this game I was focused in not making mistakes. And I got one single kill at some point. On that, we managed to do a huge snowball, which is going to snowball in a material way on the game but also snowball in an emotional way bringing us to a very weird ending you're gonna see anyway probably some things you can learn from that video thank you so much for being here guys and take care much love hey guys hope everyone's doing well we are gaming just had my worst day of league of legends i think in the uh, in in a long long time not even me on my on my solo performance just the games in general but it's okay i have a good feeling about that one i mean i said that for this one and then and it was a remake i think <laughs> this one is gonna be good so we have vince corner into case uh probably more power into case early on um just works back better together but if we can manage i mean i mean good things can happen though like we have a little tempo on vein if we play some trades better some fights better the only issue is that we have Yi, so we cannot expect much pressure early on from our jungler why well, they have briar and briar can gank pretty hard i don't know we'll see we'll observe how bot is going but we have an option on just scaling with vein the issue is that they match the scaling with asol uh, i think way has to be fine into asol you can just look to hold the range and not let Aesol get too many stacks uh, with Q. Uh, Yin to Briar, so as I said, more pressure from Briar. Mm. I mean, you can still look to play for days, but I mean, he's playing lethal tempo. Well, it's not like it's hell of plays and he has a lot of power early. I'm thinking about maybe going D-Shield actually into PTA Ignite Fura having a farming jungler. If I had a more aggressive jungler, maybe I will go deep late. Now there's a big chance that we're just chilling in that one. Um, yeah, I'm not a big, big fan of our comp. Well, everyone is pretty short range. Well, that, that's that's a good thing for us. Like, except Aesol, everyone has a very short range. And I think it's good for Skarner, it's good for Vayne, it's good for Mr. Yi. Um... It's gonna be killed before getting killed, most likely. But we have really good damage for the front line. Like he and Vayne are gonna melt these two guys. I am your worst nightmare. Yeah, I'll just try to win my 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 top. If I just win top lane, I could be win position by myself. She has ignite, so it's more like cheesy early game. But if I manage to get a lead, or like just straight up go even and then get a lead later from one kill, one something. I can snowball from that pretty easily. With Flash and Ghost, I can run her down. Uh, so, yeah, let's try to play for that. See how it goes. It's not because I have D-Shell that I cannot look to play for level 2. Okay, Punisher on the last hit. I still have a... Well, I should have finished her again. Or threatened to punish her like I just did. Mm, she's getting level 2 now, so... And she has a good vital, but I can trade an auto. Oh, that was really well played by her. Parry. She parried the crit and an E. That's a lot of damage. And also, I should have gotten level 2 earlier. And she has no ignite. I see I'm in pot ticking. I cannot play this. Mm. 
Imagine if you could make a man happy with the click of a button. Actually, you can. Drop a like and subscription. Okay, this should make the wave push back to me. Ah, uh, not really though. Enemy kill. My team is hard losing for now. For now, for now. And flaming each other, of course. I mean, it, it has been like that the whole day, so I don't know why I'm expecting something different. I mean, I should be expecting something different because in terms of stats and probability, you cannot have 10 bad games in a row. It's not supposed to happen. But I'm also playing poorly on my top side, so I can't really complain. She has a really big XP lead. But I have zero vision, I really don't like that. And Briar is either on Grubs or Drake. Losing a lot this bit. Okay. I'm way behind in XP. Oh, catch up. I'll find a way. Well, that's that's my time. That's my moment. If I dive her here, or if I like just just kill her, you know, really good things can happen from that. I'm gonna see. Yeah, she didn't buy AD uh, armor, I mean.
Okay. Well, I can look for an Arlene again on my next ult. Just to be careful about bone plating. I'll try to get bone plating a bit before my ult. Rated, rated her old, that's pretty big. I can I can beat her now. Nice. Good thing I was patient on my auto and on everything. most likely has TP, their minions are stronger, it's actually pushing to me naturally. Yep. Just TPing. Ah, uh, this shutdown is a bit sad. Uh, well, shutdown to get on Briar. I'm actually even now, I'm not even ahead. Because she got the plating, she got a lot of CS in advance. Should have her ult before me. Because she ulted very early. Okay, that's pretty good. The only bad thing is that uh, Vayne got dove. Her doesn't have CP, I can get two plates here. Okay, the wave is good for us, and I have Kraken Slayer. Insane. Job. Okay, as long as we don't mental FF. Teams are still very playable. Oh, I have two pink wards actually. That's not that good. It sounds like I could have bought something else. Okay. Let me look to freeze here for a bit.
she's missing way more XP than I am. Uh, the boy's fixed now, though. Okay, see Briar bot. Boom. Yeah, I also knew that uh, Aesol was most likely gonna play bot. It's a bit anti if you come stop here. So I had the 1v1 and I have a Kraken Slayer. Let's not mess up my tempo. I, I mean, I could play red and it could work if they're not playing it themselves. No! It was in range? What? I lost so much time here. A Briar was top. We should be able to get Rake. So many kills in that game. What the fuck? Yeah, prayer is late. I was just hovering in case something happens. There's a slight chance that Briar is here. Checking with W. Okay, spot. I wanna play Herald. I think I need yeah, to push out first, at least a bit. It's gonna take a lot of time, but the Seabrayer bots, I think I'm pretty safe. Also, I think I have mid prior. Uh, let's play for Navari. Oh shit, I didn't see. It was 1 HP. They are committed bots. Gonna drop Herald. Okay, I can go bot. I can open bot pretty easily. I'm really fed. <laughs> what did he put in the themas on? Can I see it here? I'm guessing Kaisa. And I really want to dive 
ASOL, but if I don't have info on Briar, I cannot, I cannot commit. I have an info on no one actually. Now it's not the time to die and give a 1k shutdown. Okay, I can't see everyone though. No. Okay, again, it's not they. They have left. Okay, guys, legit. I'm pretty happy about that one because today was so hard, man. Today was so hard, legit. Like 10 games, average gold diff in bot lane, minus 5k gold for my team. And I still decided to be resilient, to keep playing, to have a decent mindset, to not let myself get affected by the fact that this early didn't go well at all. And well, I guess we managed. We managed to have a really good performance. We managed to stomp and snowball from one kill top. And then good plays on good plays on good plays, really good patience. Finally. We break the curse. Okay, pretty proud of that one. That one is getting posted. I mean, you, you don't have the context, but I have it. Plus, it was a really good game. It was a really clean snowball. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching that video. This video is going to be soon because I know that I kind of broke my schedule. Uh, good luck at my game, game in real life. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Thank you for being here. Much love. Bye-bye.